we were kind of caught in between there when the last days of Pompeii came out on uh, Rough Trade US. Uh, the company went bankrupt two weeks after the release. So it was kind of like, why tour? There's not going to be any records you know, in the stores anyway. And uh, you know, then we've pretty much been laying low, playing a lot in Europe. You know, released a couple marginal recordings over there just to, uh, just to be able to play. But, uh, you know, now we're, we're aiming for you know, more of the world market now than now that we're on Restless in the US. Um, inspiration for the title, um, those are things that are yet to have happened. It's, uh, if we could think of a good a title that really fit it, we'd, we'd slap it on there. But uh, we tried really hard to think of a title type phrase that uh, would sum up the, the three years that we didn't record. They're, ne they're necessary because, um, first off, the industry functions on different things. You know, <coughs> you can't have, you know, in order to sell something, you need a gimmick. And it's like, a title is kind of like, you can tie things into that. You know, the title of the, the album is bullshit. You can, you know, have a cow on the, t on the cover. You can, you know, give away, you know, give distributors a little container containing some bullshit <laughs> and, you know, promote the record that way. There's different sets and subsets that have their own effectiveness and their, their own, their own purposes that they're, they're best in dealing with. You know, as, as, a, as a performing group, this is you know, definitely greater than the sum of its parts. Hopefully there be, you know, the reasons for a new underground and people that remember the old underground and appreciated it will make room for it to happen. What I, what I thought was really cool in the late 70s, early 80s was some of your biggest supporters were, you know, although they were, you know, hippies and freaks, you know, and from a different age, at least they were accepting to, like, give anything different a shot. The song Old Empire is more about American imagery than it's about anything else, I guess. Kind of like a multi-level thing that we have happening with Harder Folder Films. The uh, um, a warehouse in Minneapolis. We've taken each floor of it and set up a separate environment, and then uh, worked through syncing, you know, motion to you know, syncing action to the music by riding up an elevator and interacting with these different environments on the different floors. And that accompanies the song, Old Empire.